Hello, hello again, my beautiful Scorpion people, and welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. I don't own any rights to the music playing in the background. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does and leave what doesn't. So this is a... Uh, who or what is coming towards you, Scorpio, for the month of October 2020? Okay, this is a timeless read. So whenever you get it or come across this is when it's relevant for you. It doesn't have to be in the month of October. I just use that to timestamp it so I can keep track of my video. Thank you guys again for all the likes, subscribes, comments, and shares that you guys have given me so far. Um, if you're new here, welcome, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you'd like to book a personal or you'd like to leave me a donation, that information is down below. For those who have already done it, thank you guys. I greatly appreciate that as well. Um, one more thing for the Scorpios. Um, please hit the little thumbs up button, the like button. Because the Zodiac sign with the most views at the end of every two-week period, most likes, receive... Um, a bonus read from me okay so i'll do like a 30 minute read a more in-depth read where we go into what's really going on with you guys zodiac sign okay for that time period and i do the top three for each two week period so you guys don't forget to get that in in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit okay so let's get into this for my wonderful wonderful scorpion people so we're coming to get five cards for scorpio sun moon rising and venus for who or what is coming towards them for the month of October. Can I get five cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Got five. One, two, three, four. That's five, you guys. And look at you guys all up in here. Your energy is all through here. Okay, so we have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, for sure, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You could be dealing with another water sign. Or this could just be your energy coming through letting us know that you're up in here. You all up in the house, okay? You could possibly be holding on to some emotions and some feelings in love with somebody but not really telling them. Or someone could be in love with you and not telling you how they feel, Scorpio, okay? So here we go again. This could possibly be you again. We have the moon card, um, which is my Pisces or my Scorpio card when I get this, okay? So this could be your energy. There could possibly be some type of deception going on around you. Something that needs to be illuminated, Um you could possibly be, uh, I feel like dreaming, getting a lot of visions in your dreams here is what I'm getting off here. You could possibly be around some water too, or need to be around some water, Scorpio, to balance out your, um, your chakras right now, okay? Um, the next card we have is the wheel here, so I do see things changing here. You could possibly be getting ready to get some truths, or you can be closing out some old cycles here, starting some new cycles here. I do feel like luck is on your side here. You have the chariot. I feel like there's something coming in quickly here. Some type of some type of um change is coming in here quickly, okay? You have straight out the back. This is three major arcana straight out the back. Okay. Then we have the star, which is the fourth major arcana, which is healing, enlightenment here, okay? Wish fulfillment. And then the last card we have you have all major arcana. Um is the emperor here, okay? This is really, really beautiful here. So, Scorpio, um, I guess Spirit said he saved the best for last here. So, I do feel like um, there is some type of change coming in here quickly. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. Okay, there is some type of change coming in here quickly. Some type of healing um, could possibly be with uh, an emperor coming in. And this could be emperor or empress, Okay. But this is healing some type of situation with someone, okay? Someone that you love. Someone that loves you. Um, there could have been some type of deception or some type of secrets not telling this person how you feel. I feel like that's a deception here. I don't feel like this is anything, like, really, like, bad here. I just feel like somebody's not expressing themselves. That's what the deception here is. Either you're not telling your person how you feel or your person's not telling you how they feel. But things are finna change, okay? And it's finna change quickly. Somebody is healing. Somebody's been wishing upon a star for this. Um... And it's coming in. You're getting your wish fulfillment here, okay? You're going to get the love that you've been looking for and waiting for from this other person, okay? Whether it's the emperor or the empress. But there is love here. Somebody is really in love and they just haven't been expressing it. That's what this secret is. Whether it's you, Scorpio, or somebody else, 
There's going to be some communication coming in quickly about this. could possibly be a text message, um, a DM, some type of phone call. One last time for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards me for the month of October? Okay. Could be a Cancer coming towards you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Some type of water sign here. It could be Aquarius. Could be a fire sign here, Aries. So I have Pisces. Um, could be a fixed sign. Um, Cancer, Aquarius, fire, Aries, King of Cups, water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so what is this moon for my Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards them for the month of October for Scorpio? What is this moon? The moon. What is the moon spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we have... Look. So, okay, so... There's an ending to something, okay? Um, you could possibly be, be ending a situation with this queen of cups here. This soulmate relationship. This queen of cups could have possibly ended a relationship with you or walked away due to some type of deception here. Um... You could want a new beginning here with this Queen of Cups as well, okay? Um, put an ending to not telling how you feel. Now they want to come and be emotional, okay? I'm getting that as well. So I feel like, okay, with this moon here, I feel like someone wants to put an end to the deception here. They want to put an end to not telling you how they feel emotionally, whether this is you towards somebody else or somebody towards you. And now they want to come and be emotional. They want to come and tell you exactly that they're in love with you. They have feelings for you. They want to be with you, okay? What's this will for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And who and what is coming towards them? One more for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> here goes the divine couple here. Here's the empress for the emperor, okay? So, um... This could be a mother and a father. Um, they could be uh, or feel like there's husband wife material here, but this person took some time out. They took some time to rest and to meditate and to heal themselves so that they could come forward and express themselves here. They want a new beginning with you. They want to be um, either your wife or your husband here. Masculine or feminine doesn't matter, but they want a new cycle to, to start here. They want to build this relationship here, okay? They know that this is a soulmate relationship, possibly even a twin flame relationship here, because I, I have the horses here, yin and yang. What's this chariot? One more for the chariot. For who or what is coming towards Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so could be a water sign. Again, Pisces. This is my Pisces card. But this is soulmate here. This is a soulmate relationship. Um... You could possibly really be dealing with another water sign here. Or you are using your intuition here, Scorpio, about this relationship and you want to move forward. Or your person is using their their intuition about this relationship and they're coming forth. Somebody's coming forth. Someone's using their intuition, okay? Someone knows that this is a divine connection here. Um, but someone's been holding back their feelings and their emotions about... Um, how they feel here within this situation. But they are healing. And they have been wishing upon a star. Um, and their wish is being granted. They wish for you. They wish. they. I feel like someone manifested you. They have wished for you. They prayed for you. And now it's coming true. Okay. Or you wish to pray for a certain type of person. And now this person is here. It's coming true. Look. Look. I didn't even realize these were turned over here. Okay. Inside the deck. Okay. So someone wants to come and bring you this passionate new beginning here. Be careful because uh, the Knight of Wands is someone who comes in for um, a good time, but not a long time, okay? Um, but this is a passionate, fiery beginning. This person could, but I feel like they want both. I don't feel like it's just um, sex here. I feel like this person wants love, too. <laughs> See, because they want a new beginning here. They want a new cycle with you. I knew it was a fixed sign, too. I said it before we got here. Um, when I looked at the Wheel of Fortune, it made me think about the World Card and with these fixed signs. So you can be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus. Um, I just feel like fire or water here. But they want to celebrate with you, okay? They want to come in. They found healing. They want a new beginning here. They want to, to offer you this love. 
or you want to offer it to someone else because you feel like they're marriage material. You feel like this is a, something that can be long term, something worth celebrating. What's this emperor? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, some type of communication is coming in. There was some type of confusion in the past here, possibly because this person wasn't showing their feelings or their emotions, whether it was you not showing or your person. Um, could have even been a lot of choices and options in the past, okay? But this person has made their choice. They choose you, okay? And they're, they're coming forth to bring you some type of communication about it. They want to let you know that with you is where they want to be. They love you. They want to build with this. They want to start over. They want a new beginning here. They want a new cycle here with you. Um, yeah, they're done with any third-party situation. Should they're done with anybody that may have been bringing confusion to the situation. They are done with anything that is not going to bring you to them. You bring them healing. You bring them light. You bring them love. You light up their world, and, and they can't live without you, okay? And, and that's how they feel. So they want to come forward and tell you this, okay? Scorpio, or you feel this way about someone else. Either way, it's really nice. It's really beautiful. I see good things coming here. Um, if it's you, don't be afraid to take the steps to move forward. Speak your truth here, okay? Um, if it's the other person, don't be guarded. Let your guard down. Listen. Listen with your heart, okay? Um, don't, don't attempt to be defensive. Straight off. Listen to what they have to say. They're going to tell you some truths, okay? Um, anything else here for you guys? I think that's it. I'm going to leave it here for now, Scorpio, with this. So until next time, like I said, if you'd like to book a personal or leave me a donation, that information is down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, love, light, and peace, you guys. Until then. Bye, my peoples.